Hi, my name is Allison, and I did my career profile on uh, the psychosocial rehabilitation specialist. Um, one example of an, orga an organization um, for this career field is called PATH, which is short for People Acting to Help. They're located in Philadelphia. Um, I wasn't able to find someone who I knew who I could contact for this, but um, some of the research that I did was on the working environment, something that was kind of like a positive um, aspect is that you get to really choose whether you want to work in a small or large organization and typically they'll have you work full-time which is about 40 hours a week and the environment is pretty flexible varying on the degree you have or education level and it's a very family-friendly environment. Um, some of the, it says here, psychiatric rehabilitation specialists might work with patients on an individual basis or group setting. So you could be asked to work with larger groups, which is more typical. So you can help more people at the same time than on an individual basis. Usually they'll have you um, doing more individual if you have a master's degree. Um, some of the typical stressors that are in this field are kind of the obvious ones. Working with mentally unstable patients can be really stressful and kind of assisting them with their mental um, disabilities. Um, another, some of the other things were they typically want you to have a master's degree and but that's not required but some other things are the below average pay wages. They are they're about 34000 to 40000 a year and some of the certifications and licensings um, require that they require a bit lengthy. They average about two years before you can actually start working. So that's kind of the downside. Um, for the typical benefits, they didn't really specify if they if provided um, any health care or insurance like that, but I think it just depended on your employer and the state that you live in. Um, but some of the benefits of working as a psychosocial rehabilitation specialist were um, you get to develop a culture of empowerment, of healing and hope, um, the provisions of interventions to limit the impact of disability and making adjustments to the environment that eats the burden of handicap. Your options are a lot more open and you get a lot more public institution and private institutions that you get to work at. Um, you also get the satisfaction of providing vital services to others and this, this job field is growing at about a 20% rate. So that's pretty positive and it's pretty non-competitive in a clinical setting. Some of the job tasks that you would be asked to do include um, helping a patient gain interpersonal skill, on-site assessment evaluations, um, feedback sessions to identify a person's symptoms or behaviors, developing interventions with social groups, kind of trying to get them to interact with other people. Um, you do social, social skills training to improve communication, problem solving, support, kind of supervision, um, and you kind of coordinate the activities and interventions that they have. And you're kind of like their teacher and role model 
in positive social skills. And you may also, depending on where you work, be asked to complete billing information. Um, some of the educational requirements for this field is a minimum of a bachelor's degree. Um, and you have certification isn't required, but it will kind of give you an edge in the if you're trying to apply for a job. They would like you, they would like to see some type of certification and that would require depending on what certificate you're getting about 45 hours of training and licensing it's a little bit different um, it's usually required if you're wanting to go higher for counseling or something like that so each state is different in their licensure so and that takes about 2,000 to 3,000 hours of supervised work in a clinic. Um, starting salary range is about 32,000 to about 48,000. And for a more experienced person, their salary is about 46 to 69,000. But some of the numbers may vary depending on the state that you're living in and working in and the certification levels that you have. Just some random fact about this field. Um, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of rehabilitation counselors of all kinds include, including those specializing in psychosocial rehabilitation will likely grow from 28% between 2010 and 2020. So, I haven't heard of this field, but I think it's I think it's a good field to go into, and it's growing pretty exponentially. So that was a very positive thing about that. And I think that's about all the things I had for the job of being a psychosocial rehabilitation specialist. Thanks.